Oh Lord, I want you to help me. Oh Lord, I want you to help me. Help me, Lord. Our lovely viewers, you're welcome. It's another phenomenal, beautiful day. We are here with our lovely sister, Kile. <laughs> Kile is so beautiful. Look how glorious she looks, isn't she, guys? Thank Kile, you. you're welcome. I'm honored to be here. I'm really happy to be here today. Thank you. I'm honored to have <laughs> you. <laughs> you're so special. You're so Thank amazing. You. You're so unique. Thank you. Very you're so beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you really here, Kile? Yes, I am here. Are you here? I am here. How do you know you're here? I know because the spirit this morning told me that something great is going to be led today. Oh. I felt scared, but I knew that it was not me being scared. It was just the fear of having to come into contact with you. Your mind <laughs> playing games with <laughs> you. Your mind. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm happy that it's available. I made it and thank, thank you. you for coming. When we allow the psychological mind to take over the awakening state, we go into these fears, anxiety, sicknesses. It could be emotional, physical, financial. So we encourage you to stay in your awakened state. It's being. People think consciousness or awakened state is something you work at. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's the is. You remember the scripture, John? In the beginning, there was the word. There was the word. And the word was with God. The word was God. And the word was God. The word was God. The God within you. The universe in you. You don't need to work on consciousness, on being conscious. You are a conscious being. You are a spirit being having a human experience, not the other way around. Unfortunately, today's society has turned people into slaves of their own. People are slaves by their own consentment. Yeah. You consented to being a slave because you allow your mind to do the living. I feel like it's also what we feed our minds on each and every day. The kind of things that we listen to, the kind of things that we watch, we somehow unknowingly feed ourselves into believing that, okay, this is the kind of person that you are. You remember when you were talking to me about anxiety? And you said you cannot have anxiety. You like cannot anxiety. have anxiety. Because these kind of things happen and you start feeding your mind and the moment you start believing it, it becomes who you are. Hence, I encourage you and I encourage our viewers to stop living compulsively. But live, it, live your life consciously. Arise in thy spirit, O children. Arise in thy consciousness. Be alert. You remember when you were five? Yeah. You, your soul was so was pure. So you were so alive. Your parents could hit you right now after two minutes. You are You back jumping. You did not know how to hold a grudge, but... This is it. This is all our work is about. To remind you of the knowing that is within you. This is not a new teaching. I'm not coming up with something. Born for Victory is just here to remind people who they are. By the action, you know all things. You will see them and you will know that they've been called by my name. There's a scripture in the Bible that says that. Even when Moses, uh, when, uh, wait, sorry, the fisherman, was it Luke? The one who was a fisherman that yes. Yes, yes. He was just a fisherman and he was not even learned. But one day he stood in front of the people, that the, the Pharisees, and he started speaking. And they're like, is that the same guy that used to be a fisherman? They said it could have only been Jesus. Like, he could have only received the Spirit. Exactly. That's he speaks with so much knowledge. The self, when it arises, you can speak the mysteries. Yeah. The mysteries. 
the inner knowledge that you were born with that is already there you don't need to go to any university you don't need to go to any college just choose to be awakened what is the word another word awakened alert conscious ascend come out from the dark place and shine for the light that is you that is within you you are the light <laughs> you are the light I also love the saying that says each and every time we need to act like we're pregnant women you know when you're pregnant you don't, so you don't, much yeah, you, you don't eat some of the things you don't drink you, like, you stay away from consciously so if we act like we are pregnant with the seed inside of us yes. you can know how to like let go and separate yourselves from things that are going to affect you as a person that's so profound because honestly there's a lot of everything that can affect you but there's some days where you tell yourself you know what today i choose not to listen to anyone and you have the most peaceful day ever but the day that you just wake up and you're worried oh my god i have to do this I so am i right by saying that your psychological mind has purchased yes. your awakening state and you need to take it back yes. you need to take your power back you need to sever ties with the mind you need to put your mind under subjection mm -hmm. your psychological mind under your sub the subjection of the spiritual mind the inner mind because we're not supposed to live for the flesh we live for the spirit there's a bible that says there's a bible scripture that says that that you do not live in the flesh you live in the spirit because if you live by the flesh you, you are you are constantly thinking about death sickness my husband <laughs> my wife my children yeah we were born in this being this being cannot die this being is forever is eternal it's here children be awakened come back to yourselves return reconnect you will be so liberated i'll give you an instance this morning a man said to me with so much fury and anger why am i not wearing a mask and I said to him, if only you knew what I know, because I'm one person that does not follow the patterns of the system. I follow who I am. I know who I am. I follow the knowledge within. I had a revelation about COVID-19 before COVID-19 started, and I've shared this with few people. So if I know what I know, who can impose mask on me? You see, I'm conscious of what it is, the whole scenario that's taking place since last but year. It's also, even the anger that he addressed you. I mean, if he told you nicely, can you wear your mask? Because his mind is telling him that yeah. I'm doing something wrong, you know? But you know, there's something very, 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 very crazy. It's like there are some people that you just meet and your spirit automatically just annoys their spirit. Like even someone could be like, can I pass? But they're going to say it with so much anger because your spirit is disturbing them. The light that we are, the light that we exude, the light that we shine cannot be pleasure for darkness. You know? We are the light. It's about time you know who you are and live the life of a person who knows who, who they are. They are. I love this uh, saying, it says, we were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. Yes. And as we let our own lives shine, yes. yes. we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. Exactly. I am the light. I am that candle light that can light one million other candles without my light being quenched. You understand? We're supposed to reach that place. And there was a time, don't get me wrong, I'm not Miss Self-Righteous. There was a time I lost it. I think I've passed two decades wallowing in the darkness. But because of who I am, because of who you are, definitely you have to come back to who you are. And thank God, thank God for the universe. I have come back and I'm not going to be quiet. And it, it makes me grieve to see the children 
walking around with so much pain, self-inflicted pain, because you have allowed your minds to dictate your life. This being, this awakening is who you are. You don't wake up or sleep without it. You don't have to resuscitate it. It's you, it's who you are. It's your identity. The other psychological identities, the false identities that operate with the psychological mind, mind is what makes you sorrowful, anxious, upset, panic, worry, stress. You in self-imprisonment. Let yourself out. It's time for you to liberate yourself. It's time for you to come out of the prison doors. You have the key, you have changed yourself, so take the key out of your pocket and open the locks and be free. The other thing that I feel like most people we, we struggle with is that we do not allow ourselves to feel. We have this, we want to just feel happy, but when we are feeling sad, we, we feel like we have no control over that emotion. You when don't have angry, to. You feel like you don't have to, you are supposed to feel it. Humans have feelings. Did you watch our video last week? No. You don't have to even try to be in control of anything. Yeah, we attach importance to emotions in a sense that... That's the ego. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In a sense that when you start feeling something, you, you, you just like, oh my God, I'm sad. And then you start feeling tired, you want, you want to sleep. And that's how depression comes in. I don't even believe in those terms, stress, depression. I know you're studying medicine. Mm -hmm. I know you're a doctor to be. I'm sorry. I reason from wisdom. I don't have a sense of intellect. Though people say, oh Jacqueline, you're very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I don't identify with intelligence. You know, there's cosmic intelligence. Yeah. Of course, there's a common sense knowing how to do things and stuff like that. I identify with wisdom because wisdom comes from the universe, from God himself. So this is what we need to remain with. The whole earth has lost, you know, the beauty because the children in the four pillars of the earth have denied the being, the God within, to to operate. We're trying to. We are always trying to be in control. I think that's also when when you say you don't believe in things like anxiety. I think that's where it comes in, because sometimes you just have to let go and let God be. You know, but then we try to be in control of every situation. Life is happening, yeah, Kelly. Life like is you happening. Have to do this, you have to do this, and the moment you start being in control and you don't let God work for you. That's when you start feeling sad, you start feeling like things are not going away because you are trying to do it yourself. In the Bible it says, I do not want you to carry even half of the burden. Mm -mm. You lay it up on me and life, carry it for you. Life is happening. You don't need to do anything. People, don't get me wrong when I say you don't have to do anything. I don't mean you should sleep the whole day in your house. No, you don't need to make any effort. Life is unfolding. Because if you try to do what you're talking about, be in control, there's no growth. You are trying to manage. Life doesn't need your management. Life is just happening. In the morning, do you help the sun rise? No. Do you help the sun go down? Do you bring the stars out in the night? This is how your life must manifest. The fields, the lilies of the field, they do not labor or toil or sweat, but God still covers them. What more could He do for us? He could do so much more if we allowed Him to lead us. People are, have bought into the ideologies, the, the, the projections of this world that um, I have to do something. You don't have to do nothing. I'm thankful for the centeredness that I'm, I'm on. Centeredness, it's key as well. I'd like to be so centered that 
You cannot buy into any projections. You cannot buy. When I'm sitting here, feeling that I'm sitting here, I'm consciously sitting here. I'm aware I'm here with you. I'm aware that I'm talking to our lovely viewers here. I'm here. I'm not concerned about the next move. Be centered in this way that even if they say tomorrow there's an earthquake, it will still be okay. This is, this is it. Be awakened, be conscious. We have done things impulsively enough. We need to let be. We need to let it be. Let it be, <laughs> let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. This time it's not Mother Mary whispering. It's you, your, it's you yourself. It's the self whispering words of wisdom. Yes, I know you know the song, but I'm showing you that this let it be, it's not coming from Mother Mary, it's coming from your being, the God in you, the universe, the power within, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. It's the whisper. And this voice is talking to each one of us, every moment, every second. The challenge is, are we listening? And we just love prison because people love prison because people think when they have things this way in the morning I do this I do this structure yeah they live within the confinement of that this is imprisonment you eat this time you drink this time you sleep this time this is so hard this is hard living many people almost the whole 8 billion loves this kind of life self imprisonment self destruction self destruction matuna spoke about self hatred yeah. they're all attached if you think about it though i constantly am praying to god to help you set yourself free because I know how it feels to be in prison I and I know <laughs> how it is to be alive. Yes. My students always say, Jacqueline, teacher, you are a different person, different creation. I remember this part of my life. I think I was 16 years old. And at the time I was going through a very difficult phase. But I used to talk to God every day as if like, I did not talk to God and say, my father, whatever. I used to talk to God as my friend. Yeah, it's the, that's the way it should be. Even when I knew that I'm going to do something, I'm like, God, I am going to do this. Please help me. That's, it, like, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, okay, this, even say if my friend said something about me, I would talk to God. Yeah, God, this is what is happening right now. And it's through that moment when I can actually start seeing God working in my life. Because sometimes when I tell you the things, you'd believe that when they happen, it's like, oh my God, I already told you. But sometimes I was just quiet. I won't tell anyone that this is what I asked. And when the miracle happened, it's just like, wow. So you do listen. So God does listen. The awakening stage, the awakening state of our lives, it's not coming and going. It's who we are. We are in it right now. I love this song. It's like, you're a good, good father. It's who you are. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. Yes. <laughs> the goodness of the universe never leaves us. It's you who leaves. Yeah. And today's message, I hope we all get a uh, grasp it with an open heart with a hope and heart because you are deeper and deeper going into the, the place of darkness unnecessarily. We're not saying don't get married. We're not saying don't go to university, don't study, but do all these things 
in your awakened state. We did not come here to just live by the body and the, the mind. Today's life people are just working body and mind and material life. Be anchored, be centered in who you are and it's a beautiful place, sincerely. I'd also like to say that in that phase when you're going through life, when you're trying to get your things together, do not forget to take out a moment in a day to be by yourself and to listen to yourself. And sometimes you should, you should also listen to what your body wants because it also tells you sometimes you are very tired and then you go out and you try and force yourself to do things that you are you're like your heart is not even in it because you, then you settle for mediocre life because you, you, doing you like operating with this yes. mind yes. this yes. mind keeps you on a roller coaster people are I'm sorry to say this. People are crazy. Do you know people are crazy? No, crazy. This is madness. When I want to go to school, not some people. Most of the people are living crazy because the mind sends you to these places of crazy. If you are just impulsive, 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 grabbing, going, do you? You're not even aware that, oh, this is my hand. Some people, I don't know when last they looked at their hand and touched their hand the way I'm doing. It's living impulsively. You know, we have to appreciate the whole, the whole of our being. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Do not forget to feed your chakras as well. We need to stay balanced. Spiritual life is as important as every day waking up to take a shower. Exactly. It, as, it's, it's even better, you know, when you, when you apply your makeup, you should do that for your spirit as well. Yes. Don't so just leave it abandoned. Because living in abandoned, like abandoning your true spirit is like living an empty life. You see you every day, you go ahead with life, but you're literally empty. I've, I've known of people who have everything, but they're not happy. They don't have everything they have if they don't have their people. being awakened. But they're not happy people. If they don't have an awakening state, they are not. They don't have everything. I they are. They are the living dead. You know the living dead. And I know of a point where I lived with nothing materially, but I was full. Yes. Because God also does not want you to put yourself in the place where you are trying to. How do you call it? He wants to humble you sometimes. So sometimes he's going to remove you out of that place of comfort. He's going to put you alone so you can try and be by yourself and try and meditate and feed your soul. <laughs> I'll yeah, get there. You're okay. No, you're not getting anywhere. You're okay. You just need to know that you're okay. Yes, you're beautiful. Okay, uh, so in conclusion, I'd like to say that often uh, true surrender will only get a response from God. So we need to surrender the things that we've attached ourselves over. In that way, we can have authority over the things that do not matter. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's quite profound. Yeah. Surrender, it's the key word. Yeah. Did you true underline that? True, true surrender. surrender. <laughs> yes. So... I would like to say to you, to Kele, to you viewers, there are lots of projections out there. Fear, anxiety, this and that. And it all is targeting your freedom. Choose freedom. Choose to be conscious. Choose to be awakened. Choose to live consciously instead of impulsively. Just being present in the midst of chaos. Do things consciously. You go to your office, you go to your university, wherever you go, you just be in the present state, in the awakened state. And your centeredness will help with that. Be so centered that there can be a wind blowing from east, west, and you'll still be calm. My prayer is that you will arise, you will come back to yourself, you will reconnect to the source, to your inner being, to the self. Be awakened and you will see when you awakened all the pain, 
all the what ifs, all the anxiety of tomorrow, all the regrets of the past will just be blown away. We are so grateful to be on this platform to share our insights with you and I thank God for Kele, all her beautiful insights. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one for their time, inclusive of you. I thank you dearly. And I thank the Bond for Victory team, uh, Marva Studio, that are constantly helping us do this. I'm above all thankful to the universe, to the God within me that guides me every day. We love you so much. We desire for you to live. Be conscious of your existence. Be conscious of the knowing that is within you. I cannot say this enough. I love you. We'll see you very soon. Namaste. God bless.